Okay. Hey, Dennis. Fred Eberly here at Toshiba. I wanted to show you a little bit of a walkthrough of one of the forms tools that we have with DocuWare. And I'm also giving you some other ideas as well. Uh, like anything, we have a couple different ways we can go to help you get to what you're looking to do with the ticketing and getting signatures and things like that. So DocuWare has a module that is a forms module, which is something you would have to add into your system. But um, it gives you some pretty neat capabilities. And what I'm showing you here is more in the HR realm. So I have a workflow process set up in this uh, demo system where um, you know somebody applies for a job and it, it steps through the whole you know workflow design of going through the interview, interacting and emailing that person. In this case, they got a link that they can go on and it cranks open a basic form and they can fill in their information. So here I'm just going to fill in what I need on this one. Let's see. We'll make this person born in 19, whatever, 19, I can't do that, 1993, 2, Again, I can collect some basic information. We can obviously change the language on the form and add more detail here. Uh, in this case, I'm just collecting basic information. Uh, so we'd have to talk through a little bit more of what you're looking for in your form but I can't talk and type at the same time, so we're going to do this. Let's see, Elizabeth M. And 17022. And get my email address in there. Um, once, the cool thing is, once this is done, now, you know, typically I would probably do this on a on a mobile phone or a tablet of some sort, so I'm not having to sign here on the computer, but uh, for now this is what I'm going to do, just so you can see kind of what happens with the signature there. So that's kind of the basics of the form on the DocuWare side, and obviously we can create a web form that can be linked so that, you know, within your network or we can set it up to go outside your network if it's a secure certificate through HTTPS. Uh, we can do that on our side. Uh, for the encryption of the DocuWare platform, you would need to secure the connection on your side out to the outside world, essentially, if that's what you wanted. Um, I don't know. I think what you're talking about is basically within your network, so that wouldn't be necessary. But um, here what happens is that form gets filled out and those data points get pushed back onto the documentation. So in this case, uh, again, I have a workflow that basically took place and it created the forms. And in this case, it's doing um, more of an advanced workflow where it's going back to HR saying, hey, please verify the I-9 um, and moving those documents through the process. If I look in the folders here, I can go and this is just users that are in the system. Um, I'm going to go back to Peter Strom, who I was working with. and. You'll see what happened here. The resume was already there, but it created, off of that one form, it created the emergency contact form. Um, it created the I-9 and the W-4, and it basically just pre-populated the information on the form for me. So that is one way that we can kind of work with creating forms. And obviously that form would kick back. You know, here's just an example of an I-9 if I go to... Uh, Go to the form itself and go to page three. Um, we'll see that we've got some information entered and the signature in there. Um, and in this case, too, we can automate uh, some different things. Like what I'm using here is the workflow manager module, which gives us a little bit of a fancier workflow capability. I'm not sure if I have that here. Docker workflow designer. Um, there's two different things. The forms module is basically one piece that allows us to create what you saw in a basic form. Um, this piece is not necessary, but this is something I was talking to John about, where the way we have things in accounting, it would really be a much better way to go to a module like this, uh, which gives us the ability to do much fancier workflow capabilities. Um, and I'll just show you this as an aside since I'm showing you stuff here. Uh, each of these is a different workflow 
task, like accounts payable has its own little workflow design, generic approvals, purchase requests, on and on. Um, but I can open up these things, possibly. I'm not getting it to open at the moment. Let's try, uh, let's do this one. All right, so I can't open these, but what it does is allows us to create a graphical um, workflow of exactly what we want to happen in the decision points and what happens if we say no, and it routes it all these different ways. Oh yeah, this user doesn't have a access to edit, that's why I can't open it. So what's happening here is, what you're seeing is just the workflow side of form was created, it comes in and says, hey, hello, I've got a new form, I want you to look at me. We could do the same thing, you guys use task lists, we could do the same thing with stuff like that, where if we use the forms module to collect the information, throw it back on the document, and then land it in a spot where you guys would act on it and move it through the rest of its process. But uh, that's one concept of what we can do with the form. So I wanted to give you that piece. Um, this, I would say, you know, for just what you're doing, it's probably going to be more of, a, of an investment that maybe you want to do. But if we look at other areas, we could probably use this form for a lot of other things throughout the organization. So um, that's it on this. I will get you information here today, and we can catch up on this more as you go. See ya.